We're at Oregon Children's Theater on Northeast Sandy Boulevard in the rehearsal studio. You know, this theater celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. Since its inception, OCT has brought over 2 million children to the theater. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, speaking of theater and the arts, the arts in our kids' schools is becoming almost non-existent. One specialist for thousands of students. Now, a local group is working to change all that. Please welcome Eloise Damrosh, Executive Director of Regional Arts and Cultural Council. Thank you very much. Thank you know, you. places like this is, is what you help support. Uh, tell us more about uh, your work with the Regional Arts and Cultural Council. Well, we are a, a tri-county nonprofit arts council, and basically, in a nutshell, our mission is to do everything that we can to make the arts thrive in this region. And that's from supporting arts organizations such as this one uh, and, and hundreds of others to individual artists, arts education efforts, um, the connection of art and business, um, all, all of that kind of thing that makes this place such a great place to live. Uh, tell me how bleak it's becoming in our kids' schools. The first thing that happens when, when budgets get cut in education is they cut out arts and music. And it's, it's ironic and sad because uh, arts education is really what helps kids learn. In addition to the basic you know, re reading, writing, and arithmetic, we actually know that there is a, a huge impact on engaging kids through the arts in how they learn all the other subjects. So that's what we're trying to do is create a system to bring the arts back into the classroom so that it doesn't get cut again. It becomes part of the core curriculum. And you're mentioning something a lot of people suspect is that kids are born with all this creativity and through the years it, they're just, it's sucked right out of them. That's right. It seems to me that the future is going to have places for those kids with creativity, the innovative kids, the kids who can create because that's the way the world is, is moving. It's all about critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, collaboration, all of those things that kids need to learn in order to, to be successful in this 21st century. And it's a very different way of learning from the way our grandparents learned. Mm -hmm. Although back then they used the arts a lot, so it's... Yeah. You know, you were telling me that you give, uh, the organization gives close to $3 million a year. And one of the ways in which you raise money is by actually going into businesses, talking to them about how they can help. How, and it's much like the way United Way works, right? Exactly. It's a program called Work for Art. It's been around for about six years. And we go into workplaces. We take artists with us. So everybody gets really um, excited about what they're talking about. And we make it very easy for uh any individual working in a, in a public or private workplace to dedicate um, a few dollars out of their paycheck for work for art. And all of those dollars go back to the arts organizations that we're already serving with grants. So it's, it's additional money for them. And the best, the, the really great incentive for individual contributors is they get an arts card if they give as little as $5 a month. And that entitles them to two for one free tickets or two for one tickets to all kinds of mm -hmm. offerings. So these are people that probably don't go to arts events and that here is a great incentive for them. And you were saying that as little as a dollar, two dollars, five dollars out of your paycheck each month, you've raised, and this is a relatively new program, eight hundred thousand right. dollars. Yep, that's that's our that's where we're headed this year. It's a considerable yeah. amount. Part of it is because uh, we have the first public matching fund of any kind of fund like this in the United States. And this was thanks to our city council uh, who came up with a match and uh, so if, if you give five dollars and your employ your employer matches it with five dollars, the city will match it with ten. Hmm. So the fun grows exponentially. Well, uh, the Right Brain Initiative is what I want to find out about in our last minute here. Mm -hmm. If you can uh, enlighten us as to how that works. Yes, we have a a, a program whereby uh, superintendents commit schools in their districts to participate in this program and it's a it's a, a combination of artist residencies so they they come in and work with the mm -hmm. teachers they plan what they want to do with their uh, with their particular art form we do a lot of professional development for artists and teachers together mm -hmm. so that they each learn how to speak each other's language better and the end product is not only do the kids learn better but the teachers then come away with new skills and they can use dance to teach sure. science or whatever. All right. Eloise, thank you very much. We appreciate you. you joining us. And pleasure. thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. For the crew here, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.